All right, here's a pretty straightforward exercise, actually. Um, so for any partition P, for any rectangle S in this partition P, for any point X in this rectangle S, F of X is going to be less than or equal to G of X. So if we take the infimum of F over all um, the infimum of f of x over all s, then that must be less than or equal to the infimum of g of x over all s. And so then we can, because basically what we do is we take f of x is less than or equal to g of x, and we just take the infimum over all x on both sides of the inequality. And I guess that's really going to end up being the key to this exercise, is that you can take infimums and supremums of an inequality, and the inequality will still hold. So you take the you take you start with f of x is less than or equal to g of x, take infimum over all x and s on both sides, and you get msf is less than or equal to msg. And now we take the sum over all s and p and we end up with L of F P is less than or equal to L of G P. So now we basically just, um, well thus what we do is we start with the integral of F over A and this is by definition the supremum of L of F P, the supremum over all partitions P. And we know that this is equal that this equality holds because F is in fact integrable. Um, now we know L of F P is less than or equal to L of G P, and so we can again take the supremum over all P and get supremum of L of F P is less than or equal to the supremum of L of G P. Of course we're taking the supremum over all partitions P. So since that inequality holds, supremum of L of P, as I just said, is less than or equal to the supremum of L of G P. And G is integrable, so this is precisely the integral over A of G, and we're done. And so of course, we could have used M and U instead of lowercase m and l because what would change? We would have f of x is less than or equal to g of x and you take the supremum over all x in s and you get capital MSF is less than or equal to capital MSG and then you take the sum of that over all um, rectangles s in this particular partition p and you get u of f p is less than or equal to u of g p and so then you take the infimum over all partitions p and you get it you get infimum of l f p is less than or equal to infimum no you get infimum of u f p is less than or equal to infimum of u g p and so then you have the integral over all a of f is equal to the infimum of u f p which is less than or equal to the infimum of UGP, which is precisely equal to the integral over all A of G. And so that's all you have to do. So in fact, we have sort of twice as much information as we need. Um, but yeah, in any case, um, and unfortunately, because of the way that this um, textbook is written, integrals are very long, and so when I try to include the entire integral, we get cutoffs from other exercises, and that's a little um, weird looking, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, on the, on the nice end, we do have a nice and short exercise, and so yeah, that's about it, and yeah, there's not really much else to talk about with this one. Uh, you just sort of do it, and then you're done.